January 29th, Sunday. We're here in Joshua Tree State Park in Southern California. Beautiful, sunny Southern Cal. So yesterday we went up to the, around there to the El Dorado Mine, up the El Dorado Wash. Today we're going to go across this basin up to the Golden Bee Mine. Look at the nice jumping choya. The choya gardens are just down here a little ways. Look at all the little babies. Well, we're working our way across this little basin through a couple of washes here and there. Uh, sometimes an old road trail appears. And then we spotted this nice batch of jumping choya over there. Looks like a pretty nice set of, uh, of uh, cacti in the direction that we're heading anyway, so we're going to go check that out. Oh, there's a nice little smoke tree. Kind of pretty little things, aren't they? They look kind of neat when the lighting is right. It almost looks like there's smoke coming off of it. A couple more down the wash here. There's a nice flowering plant. Some nice yellow flowers. Not sure what it is, but... And a couple more nice smoke trees there. Well, we're going to leave the wash here. There's a nice big octeo cactus up here. I think they're a cactus. Maybe they're not. That one looks kind of dormant. And we're going to head over to the big patch of jumping choya. Well, over there is the official choya garden that's on the map of the park map. But here we've got our own little private one. Not quite as big an area of them, but I think the specimens are just as big and nice. Those got to be, oh gosh, they're almost eight feet tall, aren't they? The display by the road is quite spectacular, although it gets pretty busy, especially on the weekend. So it's kind of cool to have your own little spot. Well, we're leaving the little choya patch, heading for the road right there, heading for the Golden Bee Mine. Well, we're crossing the El Dorado Wash. That's looking up towards the El Dorado Mine. We're crossing the wash. It's a good sized wash. It has several different branches of it. So a little bit rugged, but you just got to make your way across it. Looks like a little piece of the old road here. It's kind of hard to follow once it gets washed out. But you can see that this was a road. Like remnants of an old road here where they kind of piled up the rocks. Although sometimes it's hard to tell what the wash has done and what the humans have done. Well, you can see that little trail garden we came from down there. Across the wash, up this little road. Now we come to a couple of structures. It looks like they're not standing anymore, but they were here at one time. Looks like one on either side of the road. I believe the mine is up this canyon a ways further. Well, here's the can dump. Pretty big. Always a can dump. You can see the road they built. It's a pretty deep wash right here, and they made a a little rock bridge of sorts. It's kind of blown out in the middle there, but I think of the work to do on that. Always amazes me the work these guys used to do. Well, let's see. We left at 9.40 right now. It's 11, a little after 11. So it took us about an hour and 40 minutes to get up here. We weren't uh, going in a huge rush though, stopping looking at the sites along the way. So this is up to the first of the big structures up here towards the mine. Well, 
Well, here's the old shaft. Can't really see much down in there. I don't know how far down it goes. This thing's obviously collapsed and broken the half. So here's another little shaft. You can see daylight going out the side of it over there. Scary stuff looking at these old mine shafts. Not sure I'd want to be digging around in there. Waiting for a cave in. Well, pretty pretty rugged trail getting up here. Uh, looks something like that going up where we're going. And something like that going down where we came from. Well, here's the upper reaches of the whole complex. I'm not sure if they had a mill up here or what. I'm not a mining expert, but there are a couple tunnels and shafts, and then there's this big structure here. I'm not sure what it would have been. There's that shaft down there, or a tunnel, a little tunnel there. Well, kind of a strange maze of shafts and tunnels. Partially collapsed in there. Crawl through that one if you want to. This must be some kind of a mill or an ore chute. Maybe to load trucks or something. I don't, I'm not sure where the mill was around here, but. That looks like a chute to me, and there's pretty big shafts right there. Not sure what this whole affair was. Well, we're heading back down. It took us a couple hours to get up there, I guess. We took our time, weren't in any rush. This gives you an idea of the upper wash up here. It's a little rugged. There's a lot of sheet metal and roofing stuff in here. That's looking back at the mine, and you can see that little patch of giant jumping choy that we saw on the way out. And we're headed back this way towards the cars, though. Well, that's looking behind us, up at the mine, the valley that the mine is in, and here's the Pinto Basin again, always a fun view from here looking out over the big part of the basin. So that wraps up our hike for today. We're almost back to our vehicle. Uh, it ended up being about five and a half miles and that was up to the upper parts of the mine and it took us about about uh, four hours and you could do it a little longer or a little shorter we kind of took our time and explored around a little bit so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching and happy hiking